Hi kids! Welcome to our video lessons in Science 4, school year 2021-2022. For your first day of class, we have our quarter 1, week 1, and 2. The reference that I am using, Science Wonders 4, it can be found on page 2 up to 6. Your teacher, Mr. Ray D. Monticillio. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to differentiate absorbent materials from non-absorbent materials. Please prepare the following, your ball pen and paper. This is a sample worksheet paper that you are going to use. In this video class, you will be learning about the properties and structure of materials, chapter 1. Let's talk about absorbent materials and non-absorbent materials. When we say absorbent materials, it can absorb water. Below are some of the examples, sponges and feather, coconut husk and tree trunks, cotton and floor map, towel, handkerchief, t-shirt, socks, jeans, denims, rubs, and etc. Some materials can absorb more water than others. For example, a sponge can absorb more water than a roll of papers. Non-absorbent materials. It cannot absorb water. Below are some non-absorbent materials, such as key, tire, umbrella, bottles, chair, nail clipper, glove, plastics, computer, table, tin can, wrapper, TV, sleepers, ball pen. Now, let's learn the following words. We have buoyant force, buoyancy, float, sink, density, mass, volume, temperature. When we say buoyant force, if an object is less dense than the fluid in which it is placed, it floats. If it is denser than fluid, it sinks. Buoyancy, it is how well something floats. In order for an object to float, its density has to be less than whatever liquid it is floating on. So the less dense an object is relative to the liquid if it is floating on, the more buoyant it is. Density is an intensive property of matter that is defined as the ratio of an object's mass to its volume. The more matter in the volume, the denser the material becomes. The less matter in the volume, the less dense the material is. Kids, I hope that you have learned something in science subject. Absorbent materials and non-absorbent materials. Now, let's check your understanding. For your test 1, write in the box AM for absorbent materials or NAM for non-absorbent materials. You have to copy first and answer. Answer 1 up to 10. For your test 2, tell and write onto blanks if it is buoyant force, buoyancy, density. You have to copy first and answer. Answer 1 up to 5. For your test 3, classify absorbent materials from non-absorbent materials. Answer directly on your paper. No need for you to copy. Answer 1 up to 10. For your test 4, differentiate absorbent materials from non-absorbent materials. Answer on your paper is say writing. Class, always remember, keep your paper or worksheets activities and pass it on Monday after two weeks. Video lesson has ended. Thank you for listening and goodbye.